Hi, so the international press has been discussing the details of Jim Abramson, the first women executive editor of the New York Times, who was recently fired. And interestingly, editor-in-chief of the French title Le Monde, Natalie Nukarhe, has also stepped down. Now, while the details of both these events, which seem distant but actually quite similar in nature, are being discussed, a few points have been raised in the media. The most important questions that have come out of this debate is that, one, is it harder for women to work their way up the ladder in the media? And is it harder for them to keep these positions uh, given the power struggles that they face? Now, there are many writers who have openly brought up the topic of equal pay uh, up to debate. And although everyone seems to be discussing this, I think the problem just isn't equal pay alone. It's a question of whether a lot of women are prepared to take on challenges like this at all. Do they give up too easily in comparison to their counterparts? Now, there are many women who have stayed in top positions in politics and management and science, among various other fields. And yes, the numbers are depressing, and they do tell us that women uh, in top positions face a lot of discrimination and bias. But is there something that we can learn from women who have succeeded? I think we can, and I think we should be talking more about that.